Marlton, New Jersey, a town that is a decent size, but when people ask where you live, you'll always say the next door town, Cherry Hill. It is also a town that holds a lot of history, yet it doesn't really promote it. Houses here date back to the 1700s, and landmarks have Civil War roots. But despite the, all the rich culture, the people here are, are obsessed with changing for their future. Even head townspeople are attempting to transform Marlton's name into Evesham. The real question is how many people are on board with Mayor Randy Brown's pushes for reform and how many people stick with what they have in the present. In the Marlton Evesham area, whatever its name may be called, there is a unique mix of family tradition and new school ways of life. Everywhere you look, Marlton tries to keep both the homey feel and the popular additions in the town. The clashes of thought can be seen in restaurants and public places, and we decided to investigate this. First, we went to Leo's Ice Cream Shop just beyond the border of Marlton into Medford, New Jersey. It was opened around 82 years ago by an Italian immigrant, and it has been a staple ice cream shop for years. I mean, with 28 yum yum flavors and over 75 ice cream flavors, you really can't go wrong here. Next, we decided to visit a new fast food restaurant in Marlton called Shake Shack. It started out as a hot dog cart in Manhattan, New York in 2001. It was loved so much that the cart was always packed with hungry people looking for fries, hot dogs, burgers, and shakes. Eventually, the company expanded to over 160 locations in 12 countries and 20 U.S. states. And that expansion included the new location, on the intersection of 70 and 73, right here in Marlton, New Jersey. All right, so we just went into Shake Shack to try and interview them, and they said that it was too close to their business, What something like that? It was too close to our business motto. And we, they said that they needed to know the questions beforehand, which is fine, whatever, and we read them off, and they weren't anything bad. They were similar to what we asked Leo's, except... We added stuff in there about chains, and they mm. didn't want to do it, which is fine. I guess it's, that's what chains do. We yeah. don't know. Yeah, they're protecting themselves. <laughs> Journalism at its finest. <laughs> yeah, and then as we were leaving, the guy's like, do you guys want milkshakes? But like, I don't know. sell us stuff. <laughs> I don't know if they were free or not, but I still don't, whatever. Oh well. <laughs> it was funny. Another old school versus new school debate is in Marlton's Cherokee High School with the popular debate over earbud use. The music industry has exploded with new listeners the past five years with much 
grown popularity in teenage listeners. Cherokee's earbud rule states that in the halls and during lunch, you may only wear one earbud at a time, but while in class, it is the teacher's decision. It has caused a lot of controversy in the school between students and teachers. So, to determine the rule's effectiveness, we asked some of the people directly affected. All in all, there seems to be a sharp divide in thinking between older and newer generations. Each side gives their view on how their side should be represented in Marlton, but no matter who you ask, the people of Marlton seem to be firm on their opinions. Marlton is a delicate balance of tradition and reform, and it is what makes the town unique and appealing to visitors. After all, where else can you find this debate over different viewpoints in one town? The single statement is the only conclusion in which the people of Marlton can agree on.